Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I know you're here to learn about Canva, so let's jump right in. Here's the Canva homepage. It has everything you could possibly need right here, but we're gonna focus on templates. So let's go up to the search bar and let's say we're looking to do a fashion flyer. We'll type that in and see what pops up. You find something you like and you go and create it. Well, today we're gonna focus on social media posts. So let's go to create a design, go to Facebook posts. You can find anything else here. When everything loads, this is when people get intimidated but just type in what you're searching for. It's October, let's do fall. We're gonna do a fall post, find something that speaks to us, and then make it your own. Add stuff, take things out, play with graphics and elements, fonts. You gotta use all your tools here that Canva gives you. You can even make these graphics your own. Here, I'm gonna to go to edit image and then I'm gonna find an effect to add. I went to the slice tool and I'm just gonna look around, see which one looks best to me. Okay, I choose this one. Now I'm also gonna play with the transparency tool and see what I like best. Now it's time to play with fonts. My rule with fonts, no matter if you're making a social media post, a flyer, a journal, whatever, you must use two to three fonts minimum on a post. It's just more pleasing to the eye and it's way more eye catching. You can also use the, what I like to call fancy text that Canva, recommends on the side look through them see what you think goes along with the style that you've already chosen and again make it your own now i'm gonna look for different elements to add since this is a sale post i'm gonna look for a sale tag to add to it Although I like where this is going, I think that it's too simple. So I'm gonna add another element. And again, make it just fit the aesthetic of the post. You can't overdo it. You kinda gotta do it just enough. Of course, you wanna make sure that your logo are on your post. So you can upload your logo here, then it'll pop up. You resize it, position it to wherever you want it to be, and voila, you now have a post that you're ready to download. So then you go up to the top right-hand corner where it says share. And from there, you go to download. And here you can choose PNG, a JPEG, a PDF, whatever it is that you wanna save it as. You save it, it downloads to your computer, and you're ready to post. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on TikTok.